Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, just like it says on the hat, and thanks for dropping in for a Ham Shack chat. This chat's going to be a little different than my normal ones, and it's actually something that when I first started doing this whole YouTube thing, I told myself that I would never ever make a video like this. Don't do it, Richie, don't do it. But uh, sometimes <laughs> you grow you learn, you change. This is going to be my very first unboxing video. And what am I unboxing, you may ask? Well, it's going to be the FT891 and the FC50 that I just picked up. So you get two for the price of one. So without further ado, let's go open us up some boxes. I'm going to start with the FT891 and Give this a quick open up. This is actually the first time that I have opened this box. Well packaged. And start with the warranty card. The operator's manual. And I would strongly suggest you go to the Yesu site and download the PDF copy of the warranty manual. That way you can store it on your computer. You get a real neat plastic bag and inside the plastic bag is the Yesu. Uh, you see it's got a, a, a cable there and uh, this is going to plug to the front control panel. In the back, it's typical, and there will be a video coming out where I give a tour of everything that's here. So let me set this down over here. We'll work on the other side. Another neat plastic bag. So here is your front panel, and this is the part I always love doing. Like it really makes it yours. You're gonna peel off this little plastic cover Oh, come on. I guess you have to have smaller fingers than me. I've got big hands. But, there we go. And uh, all your controls and everything you need is here. So, we'll set that aside. So, you got a standard power cord. And when I say standard, I mean it is becoming an industry standard. This is the exact same plug, exact same wiring that is used on my FT991A and my TS890. That in there. Let's see what else we have. This hand mic is uh, the exact same one that I use for my, my FT991A. I'll simply use the one that's in the 991A because I already have that all set up. You've got a, we've got a microphone mount. Uh, that, that you can set anywhere you want. Just plug it into some wood. Uh, we've got a handful of hardware here. And these will be used for the mobile mount. You know, after I'm done, done using this as a secondary, I'll put my 991 back on the air and use the mobile mount. Put it in the car along with mic mount and the hardware. And finally, I think we got one more thing. Yes, you have a spare 25 amp fuse. So that you, basically I got everything that I need to start. Oop, got another box of hardware. Uh, this box of hardware is used to mount the mobile mount or the radio to the mobile mount. So that's this rig. I'm going to set this aside, and now we're going to open up the FC50. This is a, a uh, automatic antenna tuner. I hate that term. Antenna tuner, this does not tune your antenna. What this does, it's a impedance matching uh, system that matches the impedance between the output of your radio and the input of your antenna. If you've got a poorly constructed 
antenna. An antenna tuner won't help you. If you've got one that's in the ballpark, then an antenna tuner will help you. I've got a good antenna out there. It's a Gap Challenger DX, and it is pretty good everywhere. And, and so it just needs a little help sometimes. So let's do this. There we go. Okay, so set that aside. Turn this right side up. And you'll see we have a, a quick start guide, installation instructions on how to put everything together. We've got the unit itself, which is very basic, no displays, nothing out. There's a, a, a ground connector. There's a place you put your plug your radio into and a place you plug your antenna into. Let's see, we got some stuff here. Let's see what we got here. Looks like we have some cables. So let's see what this does. And it appears we have some kind of mount here. We've got a box of hardware. This cable will connect to this port on the uh, rig. And the other end will go to this port on the, the uh, impedance matching device. Got hardware, and we've got a jumper cable, uh, which is brings us to the PL259s. Uh, Jesus, was that painful? So, that was my first unboxing video, and all of it was ad lib. So let me know how you think I did down there in the comments. Future videos with this, yeah, you can expect me to pretty much duplicate everything I've done on the FT991. So if you'd like to keep track of when I release a video, please subscribe. And sign here, sign here, sign here. If you like this video, well, thumbs up, please. Ooh, I like that. And uh, finally, share this with your friends. I'll tell everyone I know. You know in the FT891 community. 73 for now. As always, I'm Tom, ND3N. I am at your service, and I am out.